Hey guys, Chris Fergala here with the Scoville unit. I'm really excited. I got Mad Dog 357 in the mail today. Supposedly this is supposed to be the hottest hot sauce on the market. I'm going to do some research on it. I'm going to get back these with the exact numbers. And I'm going to taste it for the first time on this video. Alright, so after further review, the Mad Dog 357 25th Anniversary Gold Edition is over 1 million Scoville units. I've seen multiple Scoville ratings for it, but I'm going to say this is anywhere from 1 million to 2 million. Uh, there's a big warning label on the back. I don't know if anybody can read that. I'm not going to read the whole thing. If you want, pause the screen and try to read it. More than welcome to. It's pretty much like a release form that you don't sign, but you signed it when you ordered it. Um, ingredients are Reaper, Scorpion, and Ghost Peppers. Red wine vinaigrette, white distilled vinegar, fresh chopped onions, garlic, water, natural sugars, fresh lime juice, chili extract. This is made out of Maryland. So I'm really excited. Uh, I'm going to open this up now. As you can see, opening. Haven't even tried it yet. This is my first time, first time putting it on a plate or anything. Go big or go home, right? So I'm going to give this a shot with pierogies and some cayenne chicken. First, I'm going to, I'm not even going to mess around. I'm just going to lather this bad boy up. Here we go. First thing I taste is the lime. A lot of garlic. Not really a lot of garlic, but... You get it on the initial. Um, you definitely taste the peppers. Um, very good. Very, very good. Um, I'm going to do it on my pierogies now. Okay. All lathered up. Mm. Stuff does not bother me at all. <clears throat> Except for when you go to inhale your breath and you're still chewing and it goes down your air pipe. Don't mind the whining in the back. The dogs are jealous because I'm eating and they're not. Again, lathered. Mm. So there you have it, guys. Mad Dog 357. Over a million Scoville units. Definitely hot. Uh, this would not work very well for people that are not used to hot. Um, if you are an avid hot person, I would definitely try it. This would be very good in Bloody Marys. I'm trying to get a little burn time in here. So, the main burn is on the tonsils. That's how you know it's definitely over 2 million. That's easily over 2 million. Uh, my tongue has been dead for many years so don't expect that to bother me uh it's normally the back of my throat my tonsils the lips that's about it um again very good hot sauce i recommend trying it if you haven't tried it before uh thank you ron hanky for recommending it uh, again guys if you have any more videos that you want to request or any hot sauces or challenges please let me know i got the bean boozled challenge with uh, all the different peppers in it. I also got the death nut challenge. I'll be doing those. I'll probably be doing one of those next week. Uh, Monday night maybe. So I hope everybody's having a great night and I'll see you next time. Just remember, this is Chris Fergali with the Scoville unit where the topics are hot, the peppers, and hot sauce are even hotter.